Hey guys, so I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded like a whole month. Um, yeah, I've been really busy lately just with my kittens. I've been fostering some kittens if you didn't know. I have a video up on my channel. Um, other than that, I've just been a little bit depressed lately. Actually, a lot depressed, not a little bit. There's no need to lie. Um, I've been going through a lot. You know, I guess you could call it seasonal depression because it did start technically in the fall, I guess. But, yeah. So, I've been a little depressed. Haven't uploaded. Been a little busy. Just lots of, lots of different things keeping me from wanting to film my face and put it online. And I know that a lot of you won't blame me for that because what sane person would film their face and put it online if they didn't want to, you know? So, anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about something that's been on my mind lately. And it has to do a little bit with depression, a little bit with, um, you know, body dysmorphia and trigger warning suicide. So, it, it seems to me that most people that I talk to who have similar issues to me, be it, you know, depressive episodes, they've got um, body dysmorphia, you know, bipolar disorder, um, any kind of mental issue, you know, that they suffer from, uh, and it hinders their ability to just live life, pretty much. Um, it's almost like we all have something in common, um, and that is a lack of a support system. So, I know that a lot of us that are, that talk online and that, you know, go online and vent about things, the reason that we do that is because we don't have anywhere in person to vent. Either we don't have a therapist, we don't have supportive parents, or we don't have supportive friends. But a lot of people that I've talked to actually, unsurprisingly actually to me, their parents, out of all people, are actually the least supportive people in their lives. And having unsupportive parents can really affect you growing up, you know? Because it's like, they're your parents. You're supposed to always have your back. They're supposed to always support you and love you. And when your parents, you know, either they don't support your journey with mental health issues. Or they deny that you even have any issues. Which, I've experienced that. It can be really difficult to get through it. Because you feel like... You're alone, and you feel like if your parents don't support you, and they don't care about you, then why would anybody else, you know? It's a really dumb way to think, though, because I know, I know people who literally have, like, supportive partners, but at the same time, it's different when it's your family, because they're supposed to love you unconditionally. You know, you're their blood, usually. You don't have to be, but they raised you. And I feel like a lot of times um, parents are just not supportive because they don't want to feel like there's anything wrong with you because they don't want to feel like they failed you or they failed as a parent. And I feel like that's kind of my issue is my parents uh, weren't really supportive for a long time. My family members, uh, I feel like a lot of them just didn't really care. <laughs> um, and now that I'm trying to better myself, it's almost like, does it matter to them? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my parents. You know, we have a complicated relationship just like a lot of you with your family, like, I get it completely. It sucks when you have, 
when you don't well you don't really have a lot of supportive friends and then you also on top of that don't have um supportive parents it can be like it can be really difficult to even get out of bed because you're thinking why why do my parents not support me why does my family act as if my problems will just go away on their own instead of actively trying to help me and as sad as it is it's not an uncommon thing for parents to just dismiss you when you say that you're depressed or you say that you have issues that you need to work out in therapy or that you need to be on medication some people don't even believe in medication and that's insane because i know people who will could not live a normal life without medication especially if you have like depression adhd bipolar disorder you know all those all the those things there's no way like that they could get through a day without being on their meds because it's like that's what helps their brain get the chemicals that they need anyway so yeah I mean not having a family that cares or they seemingly don't care I mean it could just be that they care in that they want you to get better but they don't know how to make it better and so they just ignore it because it's like oh it'll solve itself that's just not how it works depression usually doesn't solve itself it usually gets worse compiles um basically it snowballs and then one day you break down and then it's like your parents or your family is like oh what happened where did we go wrong and it's like well you've kind of been ignoring this for years and now that it's all coming back up you're acting like you didn't like know that it existed this whole time and also another thing is that when you start therapy if your parents let you go to therapy when you were younger or or anything like that start medication therapy um they keep asking if you are fine now like it's so it's such a bizarre thing maybe it's not just parents it's like also friends like when you're in therapy and you're you've gone to a couple therapy sessions let's say that and then let's say your parent comes up to you and is like so are you good now <laughs> and you just have to think um no how how would i suddenly be better after two therapy sessions does that make any sense because i don't think it does i don't think that two therapy sessions could undo years of like trauma years of depression building up and i don't think it's going to solve my anxiety issue either and it could this could just sound like i'm complaining that my parents aren't as supportive as they could be and in a way i guess i kind of am but i understand that they don't know what to do and when you grow up like i mean your parents grew up in an era that didn't really take mental health seriously so just remember that when they say something that's really stupid or really ignorant about the subject <sighs> for the most part i would say that most parents care about their kids they just don't know how to deal with the emotional mental aspects of raising a kid you know they got the physical thing i guess mostly down most mostly um and if they don't have that down then it's like well i don't know what you expected anyway <laughs> because i mean if they can't even take care of their kids physically how are they going to take care of them mentally you know so yeah I'm, it takes years in therapy to undo lots of things and Having your parents just wanting you to immediately get better, having your friends like not really caring, it can take a toll on you. And I just wanted to say I understand like what some of you are going through because I've gone through that and I am going through that and it really sucks because you just feel like you're alone and the only person you have is really your therapist and maybe like a friend or two but I don't know it's almost like nobody understands except people who have gone through it and 
yeah anyway so that's my little rant for today um hope you guys enjoyed uh i might post sometime next week maybe i'm trying to get on a regular upload schedule but it it is what it is if i don't feel like if i don't feel like i have anything to say then i'm not going to upload i'm not going to be one of those youtubers who uploads just to have content i mean it'll be fine it'll be okay all right see you guys